We've spoken about debits and credits. A trial balance is part of the accounting process. The trial balance is going to check that debits are equal the credits. That's what you're looking at. Okay, must the debits always equal the credits? If it doesn't, then there's an error. There's a mistake. Okay, so we need to check. We're not going to drop statements if we have errors. Okay, statements need to be accurate. We need to do the trial balance to check that. Okay, you're not going to draw up a trial balance. You'll be given a trial balance. Right, so if you look at past papers, so for example, um, we had a past paper here. Let me show you a trial balance. There's a trial balance. Okay, so in this particular past paper, here's a trial balance with lots and lots of different accounts and debits and credits. Even with the trial balance, you need to be able to tell me what those accounts are. Okay, so let's do some of them. Sales is what? And income. You know income has a plus where? Where does income have a plus? On the credit side. And what do you know? The balance is on the plus. Okay, so where do balances go? on the positive side. Okay, so an income account will have a balance on the credit side because income accounts have pluses on the credit side. Does that make sense? Okay, that's something to add here. Trial balance, NB, know your rules. The rules determine the balances. Okay, here's another example. Do you guys know what bank is? What is it? Good. Bank is an asset. See, they're A for asset. Okay, so now if I know bank is an asset, will I know where the balance is? Yes, and what do you know? You have a debit balance for the bank. So that's correct. Okay, 50,000 will be an asset, so it will go on the debit side. Does that make sense? See, see how you can apply your rules just by knowing your rules. There's so much you can do with your rules. You just need to know how to use them. Let's do another one. Machinery. What is it? Correct. Machinery is an asset because it meets the definition of a resource controlled by the business. What is a vehicle? An asset. Meets the definition of a resource controlled by the business. Credit is control. What is it? Creditor is a? A creditor is who? Yes, it's someone you owe. Okay, if I buy something from someone and don't pay, they're my creditor. A creditor is an obligation. Okay, so credit is a liability. A liability has a plus on which side? Yes, so where do you think you'll see the balance? On the credit side. You see how important it is to know what the balances are? Okay, you need to know what they are. Okay, so even later on, you can't do this question now because you haven't covered enough. Okay, insurance, what is it? Insurance. Correct, insurance is an expense. If you pay insurance, it's an increase, a uh, decrease rather, of benefits. What is wages? Expense. Good. What is admin expense? Correct. Some of them are as straightforward as that. Okay, so sometimes they give you the answer in the question. You just need to read carefully. Rent expense, expense. What is repairs and maintenance? Expense. That's why you've got it over there. Okay, so see, I'm just trying to show you other types of accounts because I asked you last time to go and look through your book and find these other things and put them in those columns. Asset liability, income expense, capital drawings. Okay, so we're going to do more of that as we go through more questions. Printing is what? Last one. An expense. Okay, all of those have debits because they're all expenses. Great.
Okay, um, let's go back to our notes. There we go. Okay, the accounting process. We've covered that. Uh, what is the goal of accounting? We spoke about this last time. Decision making, presenting information. People need information to make decisions. What are you going to be creating? Financial statements. Right now, I don't want you guys to worry about having to draw up statements yet because we haven't covered enough. Okay, at the end of your textbook, toward the end, you then need to draw up statements. Okay, and, and in order to draw up statements, you need to know what they look like. Okay, so please, if you haven't looked at the format, just appreciate the format. Either look at the textbook or look at the study guide. Okay, and just, just appreciate what the format looks like. What I do want to discuss here is some revision. Statement of comprehensive income, it's also profit and loss. Okay, what do I show in my profit and loss? Income and expenses. See, notice, those are two of the accounting elements. Okay, so if I'm going to draw up a statement of comprehensive income, I'm going to show income and expenses. Statement of financial position. We spoke about financial position previous time. How do I determine someone's financial position? What am I going to look at? The assets and the liabilities. Do you agree? Okay, so if someone has a lot of assets but just as much liabilities, good or bad position? Okay, so let's say we have 2 million assets but 3 million liabilities. Bad financial position. What happens if we have 1 million assets and 0 liabilities? 1 million assets. Good position. Okay, so financial position determines, uh, or not determines, um, looks at assets and liabilities and determines your financial position, good or bad position, owner's equity. Okay. All right, and then owner's equity is obviously looking at the owner. So that's owner's equity. Owner's equity comprises of a few things, capital and drawings, plus profit or minus the loss. Okay, that would form part of owner's equity. Okay, we'll look at owner's equity later on when we discuss the actual statements. Right now, as I said, don't worry about what the statements, in terms of what they look like. Just appreciate what the statements do. Okay, they show income and expenses, they show assets and liabilities. Make sense? 